podcast. Time, Herc, for some outlawed questions, as we call on our good friends from the Phoenix chapter of American Outlaws. What's the name of the restaurant you're at again? Let's give them a shout. It's the Walter Station Brewery. Home of AO Phoenix. So believe it or not, yeah, believe it or not, this used to be a fire station. And now it is a brewery. It's wow. A brewery well. our, our producer, Bepon, has a, he's already bought four D. Yes. Okay. He's been sampling and he's been he's been telling you how good the beers are. Okay, great. Yes. You no, know, we're, we're focused he's out He's been there. telling me. Yes. 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 Shout out to Pepon. Uh, great people. Okay, so let's get to our first question from the American Outlaws. Here it is from our good friends in Phoenix. What's up, Herc? This is Riley from Columbus, Indiana. It's no question, you has, has one of the most exciting and talented young, co young cores in the world. What would you like to see from them over the next few years to be a serious competitor as a host nation in 26? Riley from Indiana. Herc, what do you have to say? South Indiana University, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, my man Riley, what I would like to see from this U.S. Men's National Team to be taken seriously is not to just perform in CONCACAF. It's one thing to dominate your region. We've seen teams like Mexico dominate their region. And then when they go to a World Cup, well, it's there's a certain ceiling and they can't get past it. The U.S. Men's National Team is the same thing. We've seen an era, it was actually 2010 to 2000. What, 14 era where they dominated, they had the same similar stretch against Mexico and opponents in CONCACAF. And when you get to the World Cup, there's that ceiling. So now these tournaments, these very important tournaments like Copa America coming up, that'll be the precursor, if you will, of what the most, or, or mimic the most competitive thing you can find to a World Cup, you need to perform there. And then perform okay. at the World Cup. So just don't perform versus CONCACAF opponents. That's right, you gotta go and play teams like Uzbekistan and get those, get those points. Show us what you're well, capable of. Well, that's 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 kind of that's kind of mean, Sab. There's no, right. who, who are they gonna get? Blame you're FIFA right. on that one. Yep, yep. Shortage of uh, opponents. And Oman. And Oman. In the fall window. Yes, yeah, Sab. So can't forget Oman. Oman. Can't forget Oman. It could have been Anthony Hudson's Oman. You missed out, Anthony Hudson. Wow, what a showdown that would have been. A true rivalry battle on football Americas. Uh, all right, question number two. This one also from our good friends at AO Phoenix. Hi, my name is Isabella Duran. I work at Phoenix Rising FC. And my question for you is, who is the biggest threat to the U.S. women's national team this year in the World Cup? Wow, the biggest threat to the U.S. <laughs> women's national team at the World Cup. Okay, I, Seb, I'm gonna let you have the floor because you know I, I took the field. I think there are multiple threats. I think there oh. are multiple threats for these women. It was a very, all of a sudden, it's a very young team for the U.S. Women's National Team, and they've not played a lot together. They've sent a young team. It's very experienced. So, for me, it's the field. I got about three names there. You? Okay. The biggest threat, I still believe, is England. I still believe it's England. They're not the same team, by the way, that they were at the end of last year when they beat the United States at Wembley. And I don't think they're the same team that won the European Championship. They've had some serious injuries, but I still think they're the biggest threat. I think Australia's a big threat because they'll be at home and Sam Kerr is just that type of player where if she's on one, you're cooked. You're just, you're just cooked. You just can't do anything about it. Uh, and and I, think, I think that Germany, Germany I might put in there, but I, I still think the US is a, a good solid step ahead of them. So yeah. I, I don't Germany trust Spain. I don't trust Spain. I don't know. I don't know who Spain is bringing. So I, you, I don't know what to think of that Spain. It doesn't matter. You saw what their B team did. I know. I know. I know. I don't think the same. I don't think the U.S. team that's going to arrive in New Zealand and Australia is the same team that we saw last uh, last fall. Who are your biggest threats? Yeah, those. It's those. England, Germany, Spain. I would even maybe add in there a, a Canadian team just because they've always been a threat to the U.S. Yep. They. Uh, Certainly got the uh, the better of all the North American teams at the last major international tournament, Canada winning Olympic gold. All right, our next question here on Outlawed Questions. Not from Phoenix, no, 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 no. From the site of victory, St. Louis, Missouri. That's right, let's listen in. Uh, Herc and Sevi, which member of this team, of the younger guys on this team, is most likely to be on the 2026 World Cup roster? Ooh. Full America represented there. Uh, Herc, who do you think? Which Gold Cup player you think will be on the uh, World Cup roster? Give us a surprise name, you know, not, not, 
Not a Turner or a Pereira or one of those guys. No, he said young player. Turner, yeah. Pereira, uh, those, are, I mean, those are already veterans within the group. I will go if I had to choose one from this group that I've seen. Mm -hmm. um, it's between two. It's between Georgi Mikhailovich and Jalen Neal, but I will take Jalen Neal. Yeah. He's 19 okay. years old, man. And, and mm. just, I know he started, he had that one air um, in the very first game against, uh, was it Bosnia, if I'm not mistaken? Mm -hmm. um, or Serbia, excuse me, Serbia and LA in that January camp. But that was the only air I've seen from him at this level. And ever since, he's gotten better and better and better. And you can say what you want about the competition, but we've seen other center backs fold with said competition. Mm. I think he's got a certain composure about him and athleticism that I really like. Wow, I like that shout. Jalen Neal for the World Cup roster. So what, he'd be 22 years old, center back at the World Cup. Could you imagine? Our final question here, also from St. Louis. Let's send it back out to the gateway to the West. Hi, my question is, what is Matt Turner's favorite side to dive on? Well, Herc, you're the goalkeeping ex expert. Which side does Matt Turner prefer to dive on? Well, I appreciate Jim Kern's Benjamin Button character uh, for <laughs> the question. Um, that would be his left side. Oh, yeah? It's his that, left that's side that he dives to. on Bailey, He's very right? good at it. Yes. 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 What a terrible yeah, I, mean, I am giving out Matt Turner's secrets yeah, right now. Yeah, don't, give, don't give out those secrets. Don't give out those secrets. Hi, I appreciate it, bud. Thank you for the question. Yes. Yeah. Very good stuff. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.